Hello there, this is Russ Buecher from Control My Nikon, and today we're going to take a look at how you could change the colors in Control My Nikon. By default, Control My Nikon comes with these dark colors here, and uh, but some people might find that it uh, works a little bit better to have a different color scheme, so we're going to take a look at how you can change that. So I'll start up Control My Nikon version 5. And you can see here we have the dark theme, and this is really the default theme. To change the theme, go up to the Tools menu, and down to Themes, and click on that. So this brings up the Themes window. Here we have a list of the different themes that are available in Control My Nikon, and there's 101 different themes, so one of these should be able to work pretty good for you. I'm just going to close this and uh, let's bring it back up so we go back to tools menu and themes and here we are so let's try some different themes and see what happens I'm just going to pick several different themes that I tend to use quite a bit let's try aluminum and you just wait a moment and uh, it changes the colors sometimes when you're working in a bright room where maybe you have some sunlight coming in the window or the lights are on having a lighter theme is a little bit easier on the eyes if you're working in a darker room then you can go to a darker theme and this is also good on the eyes but going with a dark theme like this in a bright room is it can be very difficult to read especially if you're using uh, your laptop outside having this dark theme here uh, is really just too dark on most monitors so uh, you go for a lighter color let's try some more let's go for garnet and golden And a bit of a metallic look here with MAC Metal. And Nautilus. I like this one. Let's see what else we have. We have Opus. A good theme for uh, in brighter lighting conditions pulsar also very nice and we have some different colors here with web 2 and here's a new theme in version 5 very easy on the eyes I'm just going to go back to a theme here. This is Web 2. Now you can change the hue and saturation of these themes. So if you go down to the slider here, you can change the saturation. So you can see we have blue and we have this uh, orange color here. But if you bring the slider to the left, you'll see these colors become a bit more washed out. They're less saturated. If you bring it back all the way, uh, then it uh, pretty well goes grayscale. You can do this on any theme. So you can really crank up the saturation. And this can be handy also if, uh, if you have a monitor that is having some problems reproducing the colors that you'd prefer. You just uh, move these bars around a little bit to make it easier on the eyes. Now hue as well makes some changes here. So if you want to go for a bit of a red and blue look here, you could. So really, the sky is the limit. Whatever color combination you want, so you have different hue and saturation combinations, over 101 different themes, uh, you should be able to find one in here that works well for you. To reset the hue and saturation, just select another theme and it'll bring it back to the defaults. I'm going to go back up here and reselect our default theme. And that's it. That's how you change the colors in Control My Icon by using themes. 
Happy tethering.